This is my guitar collection as it stands at the moment. Got a couple of fenders there. They're the uh, reissues, classic series, um, both white. One's got a rosewood fretboard, one's got a maple fretboard. They've got the bullet truss rod. As I say, the 70s reissue Mexican. Then I've got a Fender Mustang bass. This is the offset set series. It's 2018. It's got Pale fretboard. Next to it, we've got the Bar Hartelli. Discontinued. I think a couple of years ago. This is the 50s Blackguard one they did. Next one is the 59 Epiphone recent. 2020 October, these are really difficult to get hold of. Amazing, really. The fretboard is exactly like rosewood, even though it's Indian laurel. But yeah, this is the dark burst. It's a Rickenbacker 335 glow, Rickenbacker 330 maple glow. glow. We've got a couple of other Rickenbackers here. 360 with binding with the high gain pickups behind it. This is a George Harrison 1964 version. The uh, closed headstock behind that is an Epiphone J200, part of the uh, inspired by. Got the base there, which is my uh, Tokai rocking better. And then we've got Three acoustics, which are two of the master built Frontier and Excellente, which are reissues, and uh, the other one is the Hummingbird inspired by Gibson 12 string. Let's see, it's got 12 string headstock, nice pick guard. Excelente, nice headstock, nice inlay. There's the Frontier, classic pit guard, the rope and cactus, nice headstock. These master built reissues are really excellent guitars, all solid wood, as are the inspired by Gibson. So yeah, at the moment I've got, just a quick count up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14 guitars. Probably worth in the region of about £15,000 I'd reckon. I hope you like the video.